The UK has 137 Nobel laureates. The US has 411 Nobel laureates. That makes the UK per capita the most intellectually smart, talent-dense population on earth. So why have we created nothing? Why do we have no Airbnb, no Facebook, no Google, no Uber? And the US has it all. There's a couple of reasons, but the government, Keir Starmer, has just stopped a 1.3 billion pound AI bill put forward by Rishi Sunak. I don't wanna get political on this channel, obviously, but he's just stopped a 1.3 billion pound AI bill. That means no money going into AI. The UK pretty much has been the founding forefather of AI. Deep Mind came from Soho, from Mustafa Suleiman. Uh, I don't need to go into names, but pretty much anyone in the AI scene in the US, all of the companies like ChatGPT, any of them that came from the UK, they all have a link with DeepMind. And now the government wants to stop a 1.3 billion pound AI bill, which is a small amount of money in, in terms of government spend. The government spends, the government takes around 1.1 trillion pounds a year in tax and around half a trillion in, in VAT and national insurance. So, so we're talking like less than a thousandth of the UK's HMRC spend into AI, which has now been stopped. So enough of the, the, the negative, a bit more about the positive. Faraday came from the UK. His findings on induction uh, and electricity laid the bedwork for Maxwell's equations, which is everything that we use now. The way you're viewing this video is because of electromagnetic radiation and how we understand how it works. From Newton, gravity. Everybody knows about Sir Isaac Newton, who was born in London, in the UK, or Worcestershire, somewhere like that. From Francis Crick with DNA. All of the best scientific discoveries were bedded and founded in the UK. So we have the most talent-dense people. We have four of the best universities in the world, in the UK. A lot of my friends go to those universities and they're, they're students there. And they have this very scared, I shouldn't say this, but they're worried about putting their opinions forward of something that might be different. Let's say one of them wants to challenge the fact that CO2 molecules are not always dangerous. They can't put forward that theory with their professors because they have to follow a very specific narrative. So my message is, if you're a UK student, say exactly what you feel, exactly what you want, and let's try and get back some excitement into the UK. Because we have the smartest people in the world here. Now, unfortunately, a lot of them are leaving. A lot of people are going to the US, a lot of people are leaving the UK now, even though our net migration figures are almost a million people a year coming into the UK, but a lot of people a lot of Brits are leaving the UK. A lot of scientists, a lot of tech guys are leaving the UK. And I want to bring back that excitement because if we don't, and I know a lot of you think that the UK is done and, and I don't blame you, but if we don't bring them back, we will be done. As I said, there's no Uber, Facebook, Google. We don't have any of these tech platforms in the UK. They're all built in the US. And I get that the population is five times bigger. But remember, Europe, in terms of population, is bigger than America. And although you've got 27 different languages, most people speak English. So there is a big opportunity here in the UK to build these tech platforms. So I encourage VCs to invest in the UK, into the intellect of the UK. And I encourage the government, although they probably won't listen, we can't keep on putting money into things that don't create. You know, we're, I think we're putting 50 billion into net zero a year right, 50 billion pounds, but we won't put 1 billion into AI. When what the current government want to do, and I'm, I'm not political at all, I don't vote one way or the other, but what the current, current people in the government want to do is they want to regulate AI in the UK. Um, I don't see the point in regulating if we haven't even created anything yet, and everything that we do create goes to the US. So my, my want is for British people to realise the heritage of the UK the intellectual heritage is founded on the science that you use every day. Everything that goes into the sky from SpaceX is founded on Newton's laws. Everything, the UK has never ever launched a satellite.
The UK has never launched a rocket. If we don't include the European Space Agency, which isn't in the UK, although we fund it, the UK Space Agency has never... Don't want to hurt people who work at the UK Space Agency, but they've never launched a rocket. All the private companies have never launched a rocket. We have the people, we just don't have the belief. Brits don't have that belief. I have the belief that I can change the world. If I tell a lot of my friends, they say, how are you going to change the world, James? I say, I want to change the world with physics. I think with my knowledge, I can leave the world in a better place than I found it. Whether I get funding to build rockets, whether I get funding to build a version of Neuralink, the Elon Musk type of projects, whether I create atmospheric water generators that are portable, that can automatically fill up water bottles as you're walking in. You know, whatever that idea is, I believe I can do it and I believe I can help people. If I talk to friends, they think, you know, you're dreaming a bit too big. If you speak to the US, they're like, yeah, go for it, you can do it. Now I admit that having too much confidence is not a good thing, but I think that Brits and the UK should have that British dream and bring it back because there's lots of people like me who believe they can. So if you're young, and you're a scientist, say what you believe. If you're any age and you disagree with what's going on, you've got a choice. You can either be an observer of the current state or you can participate. You can go to um, events, you can make petitions, you can go to parliament talks, you can make your voice heard, you can do it. What's the point in throwing out a tweet when everybody's tweeting the same thing? You can go out, you can make a video, stand up in the House of Parliament, have your so understand these areas, learn these areas, and if you want to get into politics, get into politics. In the US right now, it would be very difficult to get into politics with all of the people, and especially if you're a Briton, US politics. In the UK, politics is rife and rife for you to get into. We need the youngest, smartest, brightest, sorry to keep on saying young, I'm not that young anymore, but the brightest minds to get into politics and have their say. The government, we don't do anything, invest the money in fusion, artificial intelligence, into theoretical physics, in quantum field theory, into quantum electrodynamics. We need to invest in these areas. So that's my message for me and other people to hopefully stay in the UK and build the UK.